Is this the funeral home? Yes, it is. May I help you? Uh, yes, sir, I sure do hope so. Okay, sir, what can I do for you? Uh, we done had a death in the family out here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Um, can you tell me the name of the deceased? Uh, no, she didn't have no disease. She just passed in her sleep last night, and I'm sure you really ain't sorry. Y'all make you living off of dead people, don't you? Well, sir, we provide our services to bereaved families. Ma'am, I told you she didn't have no disease, and her family don't need it. We as clean peoples out here. Okay, sir. What's the name of the person who died? Aunt Florine. Yes, sir. Florine what? I believe uh, she go by Florine Johnson now. She been married several times. I'll have to check on that. Okay, sir. Uh, where is Miss Johnson located now? Well, I hope she in heaven, but I don't know if she was pretty bad sometime, you know. Uh, yes, sir. I mean... Where's her body located? Oh, she here in the kitchen on the dining table. That's the brightest light here in the house. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, what's the address of the phone, of the home? Uh, we'll need to send the police out to meet our people at the home. The police? Look here, we didn't kill her or nothing like that. She just passed in her sleep last night. And don't be sending no police off up here. Our neighbors will think we are, you know, in trouble or something like that. Uh, we ain't did nothing uh, wrong. Sir, it's the law. We have to send the authorities anytime someone dies in a home. Well, I ain't going to uh, give you her address right now. I need to ask you a few questions first. Well, uh, okay. Uh, go ahead. What is it you need to know? Well, this may sound kind of crazy, but do y'all have uh, caskets out there that's got lights inside of <laughs> No, sir. I don't think so. Is you laughing at me? I'm all sad about my auntie and everything, and you laughing at me. No, 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 sir. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I've just never had anyone ask me for a lighted casket. Well, look here, Aunt Florine was always scared of the dark from the time she was a little girl until the day she died. She uh -huh. kept all the lights on in the house 24 hours a day. Oh. Even the room she slept in, and she had lights all over the yard. Even had lights in a dog's house. Poor old dog never did wow. get no sleep, mm -hmm. you know, unless he went under the house. And mm -hmm. she even had lights put up under there last year, so he can't even go up under the house no more and rest. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, anyway, she told me this last week that when she died, she wanted to be in a casket that had lights in it. Well, sir, I'm, I'm afraid that's not possible. Well, look here, I believe it is possible. Uh, I got her will out this morning, and she had a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. And it's saying her will that she wants the electric company to come out and put up a pole and a meter in the graveyard where she's going to be buried. Mm -hmm. She wants to light up the whole graveyard, and she wants a wire run down in the ground to a casket, and she wants them long, what you call, iridescent or fluorescent tube kind of light bulbs put mm -hmm. in the casket. And she wants some kind of alarm in there so that when one of them bulbs burn out, it'll give off a signal and somebody can come down to the graveyard and, you know, dig her up and replace the light bulb. Well, sir, I'm sure that'd be illegal. Uh, we can't do it, I'm afraid. Well, it also say right here, I'm looking at it right now, it say that she is willing to give $50,000 in cash to the individual or individuals who can make the arrangements to do this light thing for her. Uh, well, is she going to be buried on private property or, or what? She could be. I guess we could bury right here in the yard, you know, or under the house. There's plenty of lights around here, and she lives out of town, out of city limits, you know. Uh, sir, could I have your number? I'll call you back in just a few minutes. Well, you think you might be able to do this? Well, uh, it's possible. It's a good possibility. Uh, just give me your number, and I'll call you right back. I'm going to try my best to help you. Well, this. may the Lord bless you. You a fine lady after all. Uh, i got to go now. I'll call you back, though. Bye-bye. Sir.